Hi guys, it's Sarah O'Brien, Sarah the Terror Slut, and I'm going to give you a Twin Flames reading for Easter Sunday, 2022. But whenever you find this, it's for you. Um, I'm not doing much today, I took myself out to lunch, and now I'm just kind of putting groceries away and um, cleaning my room and shit like that, <laughs> boring things. Okay, there's a choice in love here. Um, someone's on the defensive about this. Okay, the Divine Masculine is overthinking a lot. Probably not getting a lot of sleep, I feel. Very tired energy. I'm walking away from that conflict like we saw yesterday, still doing that. And holding on to the Divine Feminine. Wanting to talk to her on the phone. But I was scared to reach out. There's fear. Uh, facing some karma right now. Inspiring a little bit, keeping tabs on her, seeing what she's up to today. Whatever pronoun you want. Um, he, he does love her, like, he thinks of her as his son. Um, feels like there's a lot of work to do still to get this connection on the move because he's still healing from heartbreak and he has to make a very important choice um, to release this deceptive energy and go forward in the Knight of Pentacles. Um, to work on this connection in the physical, not just in his imagination, he's using his intuition as he makes these moves. Very exhausting energy right there. I feel tired just from the cards. I mean, I feel tired from my life, but I really emphasized that with the cards I chose. Divine Feminine is like over, well, I was going to say overthinking, but this is about um, getting messages through dreams. So having some very pivotal dreams right now, messages, symbols in her dreams. And she's going toward her passions, no hesitation. Having a lot of patience as she does so. That's almost like a paradox of energies. The Knight of Wands with Temperance, it's like she wants to go forward in that aggressive sexual energy, but she's withholding, um, or she's holding herself back from it to have with some patience and trusting the universe to bring her what she wants. Um, and she's still releasing some toxicities from her past and moving away from that in the Six of Swords energy actively. Oh, there's that overthinking energy that's here. She is ending that death, and she's trusting herself more than ever now as she speaks her truth in this Eight of Wands energy here. She is um, stirring the passions of a lot of people, I feel, in this Ace of Wands energy. It's like everyone finds her so attractive right now. Um, because she's the High Priestess, she's very intuitive. She knows who she is and what she wants. And she hasn't strayed from that. Um, she has she has kind of put some of her joy on hold and she's not doing that anymore. She's done waiting to be happy. She's going to be happy in the present moment. Whatever that means to her, but she's still holding on to that divine masculine as well. Uh, still checking out his me media. And um, she is, uh, yeah, like I said, she's releasing the heartbreak and the negative uh, melancholy from the past, which gave her a lot of, like, burdens and stepping back into her sun energy because she is 
the light in so many people's lives and she knows this and she knows her power is in her her free-spirited joyful energy i mean that's where she uh thrives okay. that playful beautiful goddess energy there she is again all right, that's all I have today. I love you guys. Happy Easter. I hope you do something fun. I'm just chilling out by myself because and my cats, obviously. <laughs> I love you.